Hello and welcome to Genesis Training. This is your trainer, Kostov. This is the third video in a three-part series for direction sense. And in this video, we'll be covering a few special problems related to the topic. Let's get started. So this question reads, Harry went in search of Frodo from his home. He walked 300 meters towards east. Okay. Now, the first kind of mistake that a lot of people will make is, since 300 meters is a pretty long distance, it's a pretty large distance, they will draw a long line for 300 meters, which makes sense. But they read, then he walked for 400 meters to his left and then 700 meters to his right. So by the time he reaches 700 meters, you will go outside your notebook. That is the issue. So moral of the story is whenever you have such a long question, one good thing to do is you should read all the dimensions, all the distances. For example, 300 meters, 400 meters, 700 meters, 900 meters, 300 meters and 200 meters. So we know that 200 meters will be the smallest line and 900 meters will be the longest line. And others we can imagine with respect to the same reference. So let's get started now. He walked for 300 meters towards east. Okay. From here, Harry walked 300 meters to his east. Because 200 is the smallest line, 300 meters also will be pretty small. Then he walked for 400 meters to his left. He's facing this side, so left will be up. 400 over here. From there, 700 meters to his right. 700 meters will be around this much long. If this is 300, this is 400, this should be 700. And this is the school. Always remember to label the places. School, this is the home. He didn't find Frodo. From school, he started walking towards south. Walked for 900 meters. We have 900 meters over here. Then took a right turn and walked for 300 meters. He's facing south, so his right is our left. 300 meters. And then he took a left turn and walked for 200. He's facing this side, left is 200. Finally, Harry found Frodo in the playground over there. So here we have the playground, here we have the home, here we have the school. This is the diagram. Now, let's start solving each and every sub-question. Question number one, in which direction is their home with respect to the playground? Home with respect to the playground. That means we have to start from the playground. From playground to home, this direction is northwest. Answer is B, northwest. From playground to home. Okay, a playground with respect to home would have been southeast, but this is northwest. Question number two, in which direction is the school with respect to the home? School with respect to the home, from here to here. We have northeast. Answer is Charlie, northeast. And the third one is where most of the people go wrong. How far is the playground from their home? We have to find this distance. Now, the best part of doing that would be to draw an imaginary right angle triangle and treat that as a hypotenuse of that. Let's do that. This is the right angle triangle. Now, this is 300. So, this also will be 300. If this is 300, then this much will be 400 because this is 700. This is 300. This will be 400. Okay, now this is 400, so this one also will be 400. If this is 400 and the whole thing is 900, then this will be 500. If this is 500, then this also is 500. So now let's compare the different sides of the right angle triangle. We have 300 plus 400, that makes up 700. And then we have 500 plus 200, that makes up 700 again. So, according to the formula where we had to find the diagonal of a square, 
we have one side as 700 the other side is 700 so this one will have to be 700 root 2 or you can use the Pythagoras theorem to find it directly Pythagoras theorem would say square root of 700 square plus 700 square this is nothing but 2 into 700 square 700 square will come out into 2 700 root 2 is the answer answer is B let's move on to the next question question number 2 this one is a peculiar type of question it says Hermione has kept her wristwatch on her table in such a way that the hour hand points towards northeast and the minute hand towards southwest at 6 p.m. Let's see. The first thing you have to do in such a question is you have to draw this north, south, east, west, northwest, southwest, and all of that. So the watch is rest, uh, kept on the table in this kind of way. Now, where is what facing? Let's see. They have told that the hour hand points towards northeast at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., the hour hand points towards which number? Obviously, 6 o'clock, right? So, at 6, that means northeast is 6. This is 6. So, the exact opposite of that will be 12. Now, we all know that a clock works clockwise. So, 12, then we have 3, then we have 6, and then we have 9. This is what we have. Okay. Now the questions, so the watch is kept in such a way that the 12 hand is, uh, 12 is here, 6 is here, like that. Towards which direction is the hour hand pointing at 3 a.m.? 3 a.m., the hour hand will point at 3, that is in this direction, that is north, west. Answer is B. Okay. Question number 2. Towards which directions are the hour hand and minute hand respectively pointing at 4.30 in the evening? Always remember, always think about the minute hand first. At 4.30, the minute hand is at 6. This is the minute hand. And this is what direction? This is northeast direction. And if you look at this, for the minute hand, these are the answers. And northeast is there and only one such option. So the answer is northeast. That's it. Okay. Now, the next question is very much similar to this. The timepiece in Dumbledore's home in, is kept in such a way that the hour hand points towards north at 9 in the morning. Again, we draw the same diagram. Now, at 9, the hour hand points towards north. Okay, So, this is 9. Exact opposite to 9 is 3. Now, since we are working clockwise, so 3, 6, 9 and 12. This is the watch. Question number one. In which direction will the minute hand point at 6.15 next morning if the position is unchanged? At any 15, the minute hand points at 3. 3 is over here. And that is nothing but south. Answer is delta. Question number two. In which directions will the minute hand and hour hand respectively point at 10.30 a.m.? Minute hand and hour hand. First minute hand and then hour hand. Be very careful about that. So at 10.30, minute hand will be at 6. That is nothing but west. So the first answer has to be west. So C and D are wrong. After that, 10.30. At 10.30, the hour hand is between 10 and 11. We have 9 and 12 over here. We can have 10 here. We can have 11 here. So in the middle, we have 10.30. Half of 10. And this is which direction? This is northeast direction. Answer is B. So west and northeast. Let's move on to the next question. If southwest becomes southeast, west becomes south, and so on. Okay, again we have to draw the same diagram. Now let's first write down all the default directions and dimensions. We have north, south, east, west, northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest. Now they have mentioned that the southwest becomes southeast. Southwest becomes southeast. Let me use another color for that. 
साउथ वेस्ट बिकम्स साउथ ईस्ट एंड देन दे हैव टोल्ड वेस्ट बिकम्स साउथ West becomes south, so everything is shifting by 90 degrees towards clockwise direction. So let's complete the whole thing. So southwest will come over here, west will come over here, northwest will come over here, northeast will uh, oh sorry, uh, north will come over here, northeast will come over here, and south. in place of south we have east now let's solve the questions question number 1 dash becomes east what becomes east so it's always like this white becomes yellow this thing becomes yellow not the other way around they have told dash becomes east we have south which becomes east answer is c south becomes east done with the first one now the second one northeast becomes what northeast becomes what so we have northeast over here it becomes north west answer is d that's it the only mistake that people can make over here is they might read the question in the opposite direction and they might get another answer but be careful about the direction what is given what is not given so that was all from me about directions the only thing that you need to be careful about while solving the direction questions are the first thing is you need to remember north south east west and left and right after that you need to draw the diagrams up to scale and if at all there are a lot of dimensions over there read all the dimensions and see which is the smallest number and which is the greatest number and draw the diagram accordingly all right and the third piece of advice always read which direction the question is going home to office or office to home both of them are two different answers so make sure you realize make sure you read what the reference is where the person is starting from very important so that was all from me thank you so much